And by the way, support for this portion of Procter & Bergman's Halloween is made possible by a grant from Zombietronics. We bring things to life. One of the perks of living in Hollywood is that we get a chance to see all the new movies first, thanks to sneak previews. Yeah, just yesterday, we sneaked into the new thriller Halloween 80, the October surprise. Whoa. Oh, Freddy is back. But this time, his body is inhabited by the ghost of William Casey, Reagan's former CIA chief. Phil, I was on the edge of my seat when Freddy... Well, you, you mean old Casey. Yeah, mean old Casey rises out of his grave and haunts the streets of Washington, D.C., looking for the nation's shakers and dealmakers as his new victims. Now, this is not the old Freddy. No way. No, Freddy confined his atrocities to sorority girls, helpless campers, uh, single mothers, and punk rockers. But with the late Bill Casey running his brain... Freddy's ready to take out the entire country. Right, Phil. One by one, he stalks former national security advisors, defense secretaries, State Department officials, even President Bush himself, injecting each of them with truth serum from his terrible hypodermic fingernails. And all his victims spill their guts. The whole awful truth of why the hostages weren't released until moments after Reagan's inauguration is finally revealed. Just thinking about it makes me quail. Oh, me too. I give it one star. I give it four more years. But it did inspire me to write a little song. They say Bill Casey said to Georgie we could face defeat. If Carter gets the hostages, he can't be beat. I got a plan for a ram that's oh so sweet. They keep the boys till Ron is in the White House. Right, boss? White House. I got a plan for a ram that's oh so sweet. They keep the boys till Ron is in the White House. They say that Georgie flew to Paris and he cooked up a scam With the CIA, the Mossad, and the Grand Imam We get the election and you get the Sams Just keep the boys till Ron is in the White House Right, boss, White House We get the election and you get the Sams Just keep the boys till Ron is in the White House They say the Mossad and the Mullahs, they pledge their troth and Georgie knew for certain he could trust them both. We didn't get the hostages till Ronnie took the oath. They got the missiles, and look who's in the White House. Right, boss, White House. We didn't get the hostages till Ronnie took the oath. They got the missiles, and look who's in the White House. Third term. Wes, for heaven's sake, it's Uncle Sam. Oh, no! It's it's Representative Bob Wilson, the man who's responsible for all our problems in Washington. Oh, Phil. Hi, Bob. What brings you out to the West Coast? Air Force Two. What an open bar on that, baby. Wait a, wait a minute, Bob. Well, what about the public outcry, you know, about politicians using government planes for private business? Oh, don't worry. This was all official, Phil. Oh. I stopped in on the way at the Yellow Snow Lodge in Aspen for a photo opportunity fundraiser thrown by the Downhill Economic Club. Okay. It was followed by a very important dinner conference later at the Bunny Bump Lounge with two of my closest lawyers discussing this very issue of the misuse of public funds. Now I'm out here on my annual fact-finding tour. And you're also out here for a couple of bills. Oh, no, buddy. You used to be able to get me that cheap, but today I wouldn't lift a finger for under a grand. What issues are you here to promote? Gun control, Phil. Gun control, okay. Because I just recently learned that Bill Jackson, a constituent of mine, was killed in a hunting accident. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It seems that a couple of heavily armed men came into his liquor store hunting for the cash register, and Bill got in the way. Gee. Now, accidents like that are blown way out of proportion by the gun control freaks on the hill. So to inject some sanity into the issue, I've introduced the Bob Wilson Hold Your Fire Bill, Phil. Uh, what does it do exactly? Well, it mandates that before you can pick up your assault rifle, machine pistol, or Saturday night special, you have to suffer through a seven-day, I-can-hardly-wait period. Uh -huh. If the state cops and the FBI can't pierce your alias and shred your phony paper trail in a week, well... I figure you're a real professional, and you'll use that arsenal in a discreet and business-like way. Oh, that's terrific. It's good to see you again, Bob. And remember, Phil, voting is important, especially for me. So, vote for me early and as often as you can. <laughs> Goodbye, Bob. <laughs> Yo, Phil, I was in the kitchen disfiguring the happy face on the pumpkin, and I missed our trick-or-treater. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. It was Bob Wilson. Bob Wilson, how does that guy get elected oh, time and please. time again? Don't uh, Bread and circuses, I know. He gives Phil, it to people what they want. You no, know, Phil, I don't think the people in the New World Order, uh, order, order want bread and circuses. I think the people listening to the Proctor Bergman Show, yeah. the serious people, audience, they want right. something new, something better. Well, this is true. Uh, what do you think those people want? Free cheese and funny cars. Now you're talking.
At Billy Bo Bergman's Funny Car Coliseum, anything can happen if it's on wheels. This weekend, see Crazy Ronnie Rebels pass a loose polluter. The world's dirtiest dragster. The car that's never been fixed up. Against Johnny Alamo's Chili Power Tex Mex Mobile. You won't believe it when those red hot beans come pouring out of Johnny's pipes. And then. Get ready for the Dim Sum Derby. As a field of the world's most dangerous drivers. Short sure. Chinese men over 70 come at you at high speeds in huge used American cars. All at Billy Bo Bergman's Funny Car Coliseum. Beer sold by the case. Nobody admitted without a cowboy hat. Just follow the fumes to Billy Bo Bergman. And this weekend only, it's the Halloween Spooks and Spokes Jam. Hell's Angels versus Road Cops. If the cops catch the angels, they go to jail. If the angels catch the cops, they go to hell. It's hell on wheels here at Billy Bo Bergman's. Be there.